Hey guys, welcome to the extra video of Let's Play Mortal Kombat 9. For this extra video, we are gonna show off- I'm gonna show off ladder mode. Um, which is arcade mode. There's also tag ladder, but we're just gonna go for ladder. So, anyway. Now, how ladder mode works, we have to defeat 10 opponents. And there are a lot of characters we can play as. Uh, most of them are pretty good, some of them kinda suck. And each character has a, a primary and alternate costume. Also, the MK Ninjas also have classic costumes, which is pretty cool. And I already decided on who I was going to play as. It was a toss-up between Reptile and Ermac. Anyway, I think I'm going to show off the DLC characters. First, we have Scarlet, Kenshi, Rain, and Freddy Krueger. We're not going to play as them. We're going to play as Ermac. Yep, I'm going to play as Ermac. In his MK1 costume. So yeah. And we're gonna go on beginner because I'm not very good in arcade and uh, this type of stuff. And it just shows you who you're fighting. And our first opponent is Curtis Stryker. Now I'm actually gonna shut up during these intros. So yeah, anyway, here are the intros for Ermac and Stryker. We are you are but one. Police brutality coming up. Okay, so now it's time to fight. I've been practicing with Ermac, and he's actually pretty cool. So why don't we see some of his uh, special moves? That's his uh, hover slam. Pretty cool. This is our gut. Projectile. That's his projectile. That's his... Uh, Little awesome slam attack. I like that. And that's his force push. Yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to be quiet for a minute because there's something pretty cool I want to show off. Let's wait for it. Yeah. And I get a flawless victory. Okay, I want to show up for a minute because I want to show off something. Did you see that? That was uh, an Easter egg. Basically, um, every time you either do a combo or do as many uppercuts as you can, uh, Dan Foreman will appear on the bottom right corner of the screen, and he will say, Dusty! Yeah, that's why I wanted to be quiet. Um, now, now I'm, this is where I can perform a fatality. You only have 30 seconds to perform a fatality, or otherwise you're gonna get a forced victory. And I'm gonna be honest, I had no luck with this with Ermac. So yeah, anyway, this is his, um, uh, primary fatality. Let's see it. Ermac wins. Fatality. So, yeah, that was, uh, Mind Splatter. That was one of Ermac's fatalities. That's an alright fatality. Nothing too special. There is one fatality I like more. But anyway, our next opponent is Nightwolf. We are many. You are but one. Ancestors give me strength. And he decides to shoot himself with lightning. Yeah, I just wanted to shut up for, um, most of the intros. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, just basically beat up Nightwolf to death. Yeah, each character will get difficult and more difficult, even in ladder mode. Let me just tell you something. Oh boy, I am not doing so... Uh, I did not do very well in the ninth and 10th ones, because like I said, you're gonna get your ass whooped a bunch. Even in beginner mode, you will still get your ass whooped. So yeah. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool when, uh, when Ermac, uh, wins, a soul tries to go away and he, uh, basically, uh, catches it and squishes it. Also, I should spoil something. I did not manage to perform a stage fatality because, um, no one was in a place where you could perform a stage fatality. So yeah. Like I said, anyway... Uh, here is Ermac's second fatality, uh, after I beat up Nightwolf. This one is Pest Control. This is my favorite fatality in the game. 
It is absolutely awesome. So, anyway, let's see it first, okay? Let's. Yep, there it is. Ermac wins. Fatality. Oh, yeah, I just love that fatality. I like it how Nightwolf is running around when Ermac starts shrinking him. And Ermac just freaking steps on them like a bug. I really love that fatality. It's just so satisfying as hell. Would have been cool if it did it on Johnny Cage, though. We are many. You are but one. I will shoot you, Percy. Alright, Sector's up next. Now... Now, um, there- now, there will be times, uh, during ladder mode I'm gonna be pausing a lot, because I have a strategy guy that will basically help me out, uh, perform fatalities, however, eh, this- um, this ladder mode, it was not pretty good in my opinion, but, uh, because, well, I kept, uh, forgetting, um, one of the inputs, and I always- I always usually hit the wrong buttons all the time. But yeah, anyway, I'm just- so beating up Ermac. I like this stage because you can see Ermac is getting covered in blood from uh, that fountain. And I actually want to shut up for a minute because he's going to show up again. Yep, that was uh, Dan Foreman again. <laughs> I can't remember how many times I uh, found him in this uh, ladder mode. I think it was like three times, I think. But, yeah, anyway, um... Now, there are other types of alities aside from fat uh, fatalities. There's babe alities and stage fatalities. I'm gonna show off a babe ality on Sector. It's actually pretty funny. So, yeah, anyway, just um, use my telekinesis on him. Come on. Stop blocking. You're not supposed to block when I'm trying to lift you. Yep, there we go. Boom. And uppercut him. And here is the babe ality. Uh, you gotta be at a jump distance to perform babalities, of course. So, anyway, let's let's watch Sector get turned into a baby. Ermac wins. Babality. Aww, Sector go boom boom. <laughs> Yeah, each character uh, has a different babality animation. I'm gonna show off uh, the different babalities um, uh, in in the babality montage. Stutter there for a second. Anyway, I gotta shut up. Uh, okay. But anyway, we're fighting Melina now. Um, like I said, uh, to perform a babality, you have to be at a jump distance. So, yeah. Um, you can also perform babalities on Kintaro, Goro, and Shao Kahn, but they are annoying to perform. Basically, uh, you have to be at a normal or higher difficulty. Uh, you cannot block during fights, and you have to perform babalities on all the characters, including Shang Tsung. The eighth opponent is always going to be Shang Tsung, of course. So, once you perform the babality on Shang Tsung, um, it will automatically perform a babality on Goro and Kintaro, and it'll also do the same thing to Shao Kahn. But anyway, I'm gonna kick Molina's ass. And I'll talk about the stage fatalities next time. And she almost got me with my x-ray. Oh my god, that was freaking close. But yeah, anyway, um... To perform a stage fatality, you have to be at a stage where there are hazards. Um, that each stage will have different types of hazards, like the pits, and you gotta be at a touching distance. Up oh, there's Dan Foreman again. <laughs> this is like the third time he came or came in this video, because I don't know, I just like uppercutting the crap out of people. Yeah. So yeah, uh, let's say um hell. You can perform a stage fatality in hell. I'll show off the different um stages you can perform stage fatalities in, but they gotta be in ladder mode because I'm not very good in using, uh, two controllers, to be honest. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm gonna perform a fatality on Melina this time. Ooh, that was pretty good. Ouch. 
But yeah. All right, here we go. Pest control again. I'm actually going to commentate on this one. So yeah, I was trying to remember. I'm just using my strategy guide. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. Yep, shrink her down to size. And Squisher. Ermax. Yeah, that's what you get for having an ugly face. I love Ermac's uh, victory pose when he does that. Now, there are times I'm going to end up failing a fatality and stuff like that. Yeah, I didn't do very good. Um, I think uh, this is one of them. Oh, boy. Anyway, we're fighting Baraka. We are many. You are but one. Oh boy, Baraka's just vicious again. Anyway, we're at the um the place uh, where we fought in chapter 15 in Nightwolf's chapter. Now, what's interesting is is that um if you can actually do a good performance in this stage, um you will actually fight a clone of Noob Saiba. And I'm gonna be honest, even in beginner, it is a pain in the ass. I never even beat him. But you do get an achievement uh, for uh, finding him. It's stupid. Yeah. Crap soul. Yeah, anyway. And Baraka is still pretty vicious as hell. And you're not supposed to block my telekinetic abilities, you idiot. And boom, that's pretty interesting. But yeah. Boom, there we go. Oh, there's his x-ray. My throat! My eyes! And I've never actually shown off my x-ray yet. And he freaking blocked it. Fuck you, Baraka. Alright, come on. But yeah. Let's see if I can live this one. I pretty much think I did, and I'm just gonna slam you to death. And flip. Projectile spam you, of course. Or... Come on. Slap you in the face. Let's see if I can perform a fatality for this one. Ugh, I was trying to perform Mind Splatter. Come on. My, my. Damn it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be timing to perform your fatalities. Um, you have to be at a jump distance for all of Ermac's fatalities. Yeah. Basically, uh, if you don't do a fatality in like 30 seconds, it's gonna be a forced victory. We are many. You are but one. You will serve me in the nether realm. Oh no, we're gonna fight Quan Chi now. Quan Chi is really painful in uh this uh ladder mode to be honest. Just like uh in story mode, he is still a pain in the ass, but here not so much. Even though but yeah. Yeah, I think it's because of Ermac, because Ermac has a lot of better special moves than uh, Reptile. I actually fought Quan Chi as Reptile, and I got my ass whooped twice. But yeah. I can't remember if I did a fatality on Quan Chi. I don't remember, but yeah. I think I did. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah! <laughs> Ermac used uh, his x-ray on me all the time. And I pretty much uh, uh, used it on me. And I decided to use it on my own. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep kicking Quan Chi in the gut. And let's see, can I perform pest control? I'm trying to remember. I was just looking at my strategy guide for that. But yeah, anyway, there it is! That's for resurrecting my friends, you jackass! Told you I was gonna get you. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, our next opponent is Ooh, Scarlet, as one of the DLC characters. Anyway, I guess I should explain her. Now, Scarlet is. not too annoying. She has this teleport. But yeah, anyway, she is the red female ninja who uses blood. To her advantage and another thing I should bring up um, is that 
Uh, Scarlet, she can throw daggers. And she can also do... Yep, that is her teleport. She just teleports by, uh, with blood. Anyway, we're in the desert area. And we are, um... Uh, this is where Quan Chi resurrected Sindel. Oh, yeah, I'll smash your neck face. And freaking body slam you! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Ermax X-Ray is not too bad. Ugh. Did she just throw a blood ball at me? Yeah. Yeah, Scarlet has pretty much one of the most grotesque fatalities I've ever seen. Uh, you'll see them when I do the fatality montage. So... Yeah. Boom, boom. Oh, I just love it when they go that boom, boom. And the video kind of lagged there for a minute. And this is her x-ray. Ooh! She freaking stabs her... Stabs her eye with her heels. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. But damn, that is just brutal. Yeah, as you can see, I am getting whooped by Scarlet. But she didn't really beat me, to be honest. But yeah, anyway. Ooh. Trying to hit me with her daggers. I really like her daggers, too. At least they're better than Lena's. But yeah, anyway. Can I perform... I was actually thinking of performing a babality on her, um, because it's actually kind of funny, but for some reason, it didn't do a thing, and she just tumbled, and I got a forced victory. Yeah, I'm not very good at performing fatalities in ladder mode. There is a place where you can freely perform fatalities freely. It's actually pretty good. But yeah, anyway, we are fighting Shang Tsung. He will always be the 8th opponent you will fight. And why don't we watch his intro first? We are many. You are but one. Your soul is mine. Did I ever mention I love that um, line in the movie? But yeah, anyway, um, I'm mostly going to be projectile spamming uh, Sh Shang Tsung in the last two because... They are going to be pretty difficult. Anyway, Shang Tsung will transform into anybody he wants, so he just turned into Striker. And... Slam him to death. Yeah, I can also do that too. But yeah. And he also transforms into Sonya Blade. Yeah, now he's got... Uh... The physique of a woman. And... Yeah... Yeah, I failed to perform Scarlet's Babality, but I will show it off in an extra video. I'm not very good at performing Babalities with Ermac. If I ever do the Babality montage, I'm gonna do it with Sub-Zero, because his Babality inputs are a little bit easier to perform. And, uh, uh, this is where I'll uh, talk about some kind of funny. And I'm just gonna projectile spam the crap out of Shang Tsung. Or just use my x-ray. My neck! My back! Oh, that was awesome. So, unfortunately, I failed to perform a babality on Shang Tsung. So, why don't we just watch him tumble? Or, while well, I try to perform. I accidentally hit the beat button instead, and I failed. So, yeah. I gotta use Ermac more often in ladder mode. Anyway, now we got two opponents left. We're fighting Kintaro now, which is... Oh my god, Kintaro was freaking annoying in this fight. At least it was better than Goro. But hey, at least we get to see Goro. Let's watch Kintaro's intro. Well, that's just vicious. Anyway, projectile spam is the best way to go, and oh my god, Kintaro keeps attacking me with his flamethrower. He was spamming the hell out of his fire attacks a lot, and it was annoying as hell. However, I was able to be smart enough to dodge most of his ground pounds. Yeah, I was able to do that. Why couldn't I do that with him, Goro, and Shiva in story mode? It just made no sense. Well, I think ninjas are a lot faster. Ow. Yeah, I am not gonna live this one because 
Kemtaro is won't stop spamming that fucking flamethrower. Yeah, see? He just burnt me to a crisp. Yeah, that was kind of unlucky for me. But yeah, also I should admit, uh, you know I'll mention this later in the in the in the final extra video. Ha ha! You didn't dodge me. All right, you got me that time. Ow! Yeah, he always gets me with that fireball. Just stupid. Yeah, at least it's a little bit better than freaking Goro. Oh my god, fighting Goro in ladder mode is hell. Ah, crap, he got me. But, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, the ninth opponent will be a random between Goro or Kintaro. But, yeah, anyway. Come on. Yes. Ah, uh, not a lot of damage, but... Let's see. Yep, uppercut into the face. Alright, here we go. One more round. Let's do it. Here we go. Come on. Also, you cannot perform fatalities on these guys. Uh, they will perform fatalities, but it's just so hard to find out if they're gonna do it or not. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm just projectile spamming Kintaro because that's basically one of the... Just to get his health down a little bit. It's very easy and... Look at all that damage he's giving me. Holy crap. Ow! Come on, Ermac! Come on! Come on, and... Come on! Come on, come on! Stop burning me! Come on! Ow! No! I can't lose! Come on! Okay. He's... And... Uppercut him to the face. So that is Kimtaro. Eh, it was pretty challenging. Anyway, now it's time for... Oh my god. Shao fucking Khan again. This is like the third time we gotta fight him. However, one of the ninjas is a little bit better. But can I defeat him? We are many. You are but one. You just love showing that hammer off, huh? Anyway, Shao Kahn, um, once again... He is still brutal as shit. Um, however, projectiling him is pretty good. In fact, the MK Ninjas have better projectiles than Liu Kang and Raiden. Because I think their projectiles are just too slow. And as you can see, um, I am staying the hell away from Shao Kahn. However, he constantly keeps attacking me with a spear. And I'm gonna be honest, this one was absolutely stupid of me. I wanted to get close to Shao Kahn when I got his HP down. That was a terrible decision for me to do. Because, um, I will explain it. You'll see in a minute. Let's, uh, take his HP down a little bit. Shut up, Shao Kahn. Ow! Yep, there he is. Okay. Now, this is where I got really stupid. Watch. I freaking lift him around, and he freaking hits me with a hammer, and he gets me with an X-ray. Ow! Ouch! Yeah, that was stupid of me. Oh fuck you, Shao Kahn! I'm gonna butcher your ass. So yeah, that is Shao Kahn's X-ray. You do not want to get close to him with that X-ray. I was lucky enough in story mode, but here's the thing. Um, that will take 30% of your health. That is bullshit. And I am not gonna use my x-ray for this one, and oh my god, I am so not gonna live this because I kept spamming my projectiles because, um, Ermac's projectile is too fast and it doesn't take him enough time to duck. See, look, I keep getting hit by those spears. Shut up, Shao Kahn. Also, you can see Scarlet in the background, which is pretty cool. Come on. My right, projectile spin. Nope. And slap him in the face. Yeah, once his HP is really, really low, that is your chance to strike. So, I would recommend projectile spamming him if you don't want to get your ass butchered. Also, 
I freaking uh, killed him in a funny way. But yeah, anyway, come on. And he. And haha, -ha, you did not do your x ray. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, shut up. Yeah, at least you weren't a big dumbass like you were in Raiden's chapter. Oh, wait, you're supposed to be dead. So, I think we can fix that. Just. No, I don't want to bow to you. Yep, just keep projectile spamming the crap out of Shao Kahn. Ow. Stay away from him. Stay away. Stay away. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Alright, come on. Come on. Get him. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna perform my x-ray. But I think I'm gonna commentate on this. I'm not gonna commentate on the ending, though. So yeah, anyway. So my oh! I didn't have to use my x-ray. This is for Earth Realm. Oh, I love this. Watch, watch, watch. Shao Kahn go boom! With Shao Kahn dead, Ermac was no longer bound to him. Anarchy erupted within Ermac as the many warrior souls that comprised his being struggled for dominance. Only one had the strength of will to quiet the chaos. The conflict resolved, Ermac returned to Outworld, determined to reunite with his past. Queen Sindel and Princess Katana were shocked to learn the truth, that trapped among the many spirits within Ermac was their husband and father, King Jared. Though he would never be the Jared they once knew, Ermac would forever serve and protect his queen and the Adenian people. So basically, Ermac is um Shao Kahn's uh uh wait Katana is the father, huh? So yeah, anyway, that is um the end of a uh, ladder mode of Let's Play Mortal Kombat Nine. It's not too much, but. But yeah, anyway, uh, it, I just show up my victories. However, there is one more, uh, there is one more uh, extra video to go, so I will see you there, alright?